Hi, my name is Darren Kite from Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories, and today I'm going to talk to you about the RTAC, our real-time automation controller. One of the key features of the RTAC is its ability to function as a data concentrator and a protocol gateway. During this video, I'm going to walk you through a couple steps to help you configure the RTAC to collect DMP3 data from a relay. Okay, so we already have Accelerator RTAC running. The first thing that we're going to do is add a 351. And what you'll notice is that you have your choice of protocols, but we're going to focus on DMP, so we're going to select DMP protocol. And now you have your choice of connection types. We're going to be choosing a client, and a client will collect data from a server. So the client requests data, and the server responds with a data that's requested. And we also have our choice of connection methods. This will largely depend on your communication network. For example, if you're communicating over Ethernet to a port server, then you would probably use Ethernet tunnel serial. If you're connected straight with an RS-232 cable, then you would choose serial. In this uh, example, we're connected directly using Ethernet, so we're going to choose that. Okay, so the first thing we see is settings. And here you can see the settings that are broken up for communications, for data, date and time, and DNP protocol. So what we're looking at here is the communication settings first, and we choose our transport method and our ports and our IP address. The IP address of our relay is 192.168.1.5, and then we need to configure our DMP settings. Our client address is going to be 1, and our server address is going to be 7. The server address is the address, the DMP address of the relay, the 351. And we also have our choice of um, configuring the poll periods. And you can see in the top right corner that there's an advanced setting tab, and this will allow you to see more settings. The advanced settings are really for the flexibility of um, configuring communications for any DMP client. In most circumstances, you will never have to configure those settings. Okay, now that we have our communication and DMP settings configured, we're going to add some binary input points, and we're going to add 24 of those. And I've already exported my settings out of QuickSet so that we have easily named and understandable tags, and we're going to just copy and paste those in. We're going to go to our binary outputs, add 18 of those. And in this example, we're going to filter by tag type, SPS, so that we can more easily paste in the binary output points. And we're going to add some analog inputs now. And we're going to add 40 of those. Okay, and we're going to hit Control S, and that's going to save it. And you'll notice that the relay name was appended to the tag, and that'll help us keep track of our tags and the relays that they belong to. Okay, we have everything configured properly, so we're going to go online with our project. Okay, so what we've done is we've configured our RTAC to speak to our relay. We're now downloading the project into the RTAC and we're going to go online with the project and see real-time values, and we're also going to check that our configuration was valid. Okay, our project has successfully downloaded, so the first thing we're going to do is look at the controller tab, and we're going to make sure that our relay, our client, is enabled. We're going to look at the offline pin, and it's false, so that means we are um, communicating. You can see that the polls and the requests are coming back in successfully, and now we're going to check our tags. So we're going to look at a couple binary points, and we're going to look for the trip LED, which is false, and our relay is enabled, which is true. And we're going to send a control to the relay to issue a trip action. So we're going to put the prepared value true in the column and press F6, and that's going to trip the relay, and you can see that on the front panel of the relay that the trip is highlighted, and you can see that our client did successfully pull that data in. Okay, so we successfully added a DMP client to our project. We've added a few DMP points to pull from our 351 relay, 
We went online with the project, downloaded that project to the RTAC, checked to make sure our communication, our configuration was valid, and sent a control to the relay. We did this all in a couple easy steps. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.